Hey, welcome back to the channel, everybody. We have a very small deck to build on the back of Project 31. That house is basically done. We're using the decorators, balusters, and rail connectors. So let's get into the video. Um, we'll show you some tips and tricks on layout and how to drastically speed up layout and why we're such a huge fan of this product, which we paid for because we like it. I have a good looking small deck. Let's get into it. Okay, 54, two minus nine sixteenths. 54, two minus nine sixteenths. What you are looking at, besides that ridiculously good looking guy, <laughs> is basically a builder's deck. This is a spec home. We can't break the budget on this. So we have like Trex something or other decking. That's two by four cedar that is primed. What I'm attaching there which I have to do in order to figure out my baluster spacing. Those are the rail connectors by decorators. Make it very easy. I'm just test fitting it there. What we found is if you took a tight number, minus nine sixteenths, that's what gave you the number Manifique. for your rail length. Fifty-three, five, three, nine. Fifty-three, nine. Fifty-three, nine. Okay, I have 53 inch, 9 16 is the length of the railing. I'm gonna hit convert baluster. Now this gives me a bunch of stair functions. First of all, I, I want to maintain a four inch opening, that's code. The width of the balusters themselves are one inch. And I've elected not to put one at each end. So clear that. Layout marks, I can go leading edge. So if I hook my tape, I can mark and then X would be to my right. I can go center, or for some reason I've just decided to do trailing edge, which means it will be X to my left. Once that's entered, the calculator does everything else, and now as I pull my tape, 4 and 15, 9 and 15, 14 and 7 eighths, 19, 13, etc., that's going to take care of all of my accumulated error, make sure that those bal balusters are exactly right on the money. From scratch, I would just lean my tape. So 5, 3, 53, 9. Convert baluster, and now I'm just going to mark each of these 14 and 15, X to my left, 9 and 15, X to my left, 14 and 7 eighths, X to the left, 24, 13, nope, I missed one, 19, 13, 24, 13, 29 and 3 quarters, 34 and 3 quarters, 39, 11, 44, 10, and finally 49 and 5 eighths. And that should leave me with about 3 and 15 sixteenths at the end. Haha, <laughs> right on the money. I love you guys. I was talking to the people that are behind the camera. <laughs> okay we have used decorators balusters oh man i remember one very large deck we did for a custom home back when the market crashed this was like 2010 and we used them before that last year however i went with this baluster which is the height of your railing i can't remember 32 inches i think is what the box says you know, plus your four inches at the bottom or three and seven eighths. Anyway, we're aiming for roughly 38 to 40 inch tall railings. These are one inch square aluminum balusters. Very easy to use. What, what I found last year with Noah is that it installed insanely fast. That's part of the reason why we chose it. We also just like the look. It's just a nice, clean, simple look. Couple things you need to know. 
you got to put the caps on. <laughs> so this is how we do it. Just take a scrap piece of wood. I mean, honestly, we were also pushing it into the tracks, but you don't want to scratch your decking. That's just dumb. A little bit of prep work. Once the layout on the railings is done and they're test fit, right? We want to make sure that they work before we assemble the railing. I mean, I've done that before where I just went for it and then it was a little bit wrong. At least without an end one, you can trim them if you need to. Anyway, you could set this up as an assembly line, but everybody kind of just wanted to work alone to some degree. Um, notice, notice how much easier on the body it is the way I'm doing it compared to Kyle. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it didn't click when you were complaining about your hamstrings. <laughs> sure. <laughs> I'm the old guy, man. Yeah, I find like it takes me half the deck to get into a rhythm. But like being um, right handed. I can hold it right to the line in the top. I should have got magnetic tips. A good friend of mine, Mikey, I don't know that you subscribe to this channel, but you might remember, Mikey is a drummer, guitar player, and a bass player. He also has done our roofing. Mikey told me that I have bass player fingers, which I think was a compliment. <laughs> like sausage fingers. I used to be able to palm a basketball. Maybe I'll try it and put video in one of these. Anyway, my point is, the slowest part of this process is just flipping the screws around in your hands, and it's still a fast process. But here is another pro tip. Get magnetic tips. These are square drive, by the way. And that little Diablo extension with a Makita bit, <laughs> just kind of kept, ah, they just pull out. It's kind of annoying. I think in part, it's because of the um, powder coating in the oh, screw yeah, bit. Oh yeah, baby. But if, if you were doing this for like the whole day, by the end of the day, you'd be, pretty good with your left hand if you're right-handed, correct-handed. If you're wrong-handed, you know, well, I don't know what to tell you. My parents are both wrong-handed, but all three of us kids are correct-handed. Anyway, it's just a very simple process. Like, you just don't want to mistake, make a mistake on the baluster layout. Obviously, you want to cut your rails to the right length. And what I didn't show in this video, because this really is about the railing, is that all of those posts were set plumb, and then we string-lined string -lined them so that they were nice and straight. I think I took these from you guys earlier. There's probably two extras. You might have the screws for them. These are the rail connectors. As you can see, they just screw straight into the end grain of the rail. And then it alternates. There's either two screws, like maybe let's say the top, the side that's facing up and one at the bottom. Well, you can see it. There's the one right there laying on the tracks. There's two there, and then when you flip it over, there's one. And that's what's gonna like toe screw into the post itself, make for a nice solid railing. Now, one thing I should mention is we're gonna add a two by four cedar top rail all the way around. That's gonna tie them together. And then we're gonna add Trex cap over the top of that, cause then it gives you a nice five and a half inch piece. You could set your drinks on there. It'll also help protect the wood. <laughs> Perfect. And then, yeah, we'll just pull the top over. This was a Friday. Cool. And this is about as easy as Fridays go. And, and what one thing I really like about this system, and again, decorators, if you'd like to sponsor me, get in touch. By the way, I'm ripping that joke off of Photo Tripper. I'm gonna tag Gavin below. If you're into photography at all, then go check out Gavin's feed. Not only are his videos hilarious, but he's an outstanding photographer. I should mention, I'm not talking about Gavin there on the right. <laughs> I'm talking about Gavin Hardcastle, a uh, great photographer. Anyway, I digress. What's great about this system is how easy it is to train somebody. And so if you have inexperienced help or whatever the case, it's easy to train. It's a good looking product that is easy. So that guy will fit in there nicely. You wanna do the top of this real quick?
Yeah, and there's that other bag on the ground too. Yeah, like it. Looks good. Yeah, I like how you can move them. Yeah. Yeah. The bottoms are made to, they call them humor, the post. So you can kind of rock them almost. And that is gonna bring this video to a conclusion. There's some touch-up paint that needs to be done, needs to, you know, basic cleanup. But there's the railing, two by four top and bottom rail, two by four top cap, and then Trex top top cap. <laughs> I don't know what you wanna call that. Anyway, this is not intended to show you some ridiculously expensive and awesome deck. For that kind of thing, then I would suggest you go follow Dr. Dex. He's local and a good friend of mine outstanding work. For us, we're building this as a spec home, so we have to make decisions like what will the future homeowner be happy with, and also not break the budget. If this house is priced super high because of the deck, well then we're not gonna be able to sell it. So there's always a balancing point there. But the decorators gives us a cost-effective, still a little on the spendy side, but it's a good look that's gonna last for a long time. I mean, I would be happy on this deck. You could host dance parties there. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I hope that there's something that you picked up or you just enjoyed it. We'll see you in the next video. Please hit that like and subscribe button.